So I know I'm over a year late uh, on discussing this topic. Um, perhaps I should have waited until uh, the month of June of this year, so it would be exactly a full year. Um, but I figured, you know, now is the best time to uh, talk about this, and to be honest, I really didn't want to talk about this because this character means a lot to me, and I grew up with him. I'm sure a lot of you folks did too. Um, so I'm sure you folks know what we're going to talk about today, what I'm going to talk about today in this video by the title. Uh, but just in case you don't fully understand, yes, we are going to be talking about the sponge, the myth, the legend, and uh, that would be SpongeBob SquarePants. <laughs> No one ever imagined bigger, squarier, spongier. And uh, really, folks, um, this, like I said, this is a topic I didn't really want to talk about. Um, but really, it's been in debate uh, for so many years as to whether or not SpongeBob is gay or not. And uh, that's what we're going to be discussing about today, if he really is or not. Uh, but really, folks, I think it just really depends on your perspective and how you see SpongeBob. Uh, and so that's what we're going to talk about today. And uh, first off, how I want to start this out is, really, I think we should look at what the creator of SpongeBob's uh, thoughts were. Now, as you folks know, Steven Hillenburg. Uh, died in, I believe, 2018. I made a video saying, uh, commemorating uh, Spon uh, his life and, you know, thank you for creating Spongebob and whatnot. Uh, but yes, I made a video talking about his death and just saying thank you for creating Spongebob. You know, he's one of my favorite cartoon characters of all time. And really, the reason why I love Spongebob so much when I uh, was growing up is because he really was a close resemblance. The, the whole Spongebob cartoon was really cl a close resemblance of Tom and Jerry and Looney Tunes and... I love those cartoons. If I had to pick my top three favorite cartoons of all time, all three of them would be in that category. They, SpongeBob just has the same kind of humor that Looney Tunes and Tom and Jerry has. There's a lot of humor in there that all uh, ages could find humorous and enjoyable. And uh, really, just SpongeBob's smile just puts a big smile on my face all the time every time I see him. He's just a fun, lovable, squishy sponge. Another day, another migraine. Well, at least I'll get a little peace and quiet before that little... Good morning, Squidward. And isn't it a lovely morning? Nope. Not talking to you. And I'm especially not getting involved in any of your nonsense today. I always end up with the wrong end of the stick. Okay, Squidward. <sighs> but you should know that old Gertrude's getting pretty finicky these days. Old Gertrude? Who the kelp is that? You've worked with her for years! She's the eight burner grill in the kitchen! It never ends. Uh, but getting back to my main point, so Steven Hillenburg died in 2018, and around 2005, so this was many years before he died, um, he was asked, he was asked, uh, what is, what is SpongeBob's, like, you know, sexuality? Is he gay? Or what's the deal with him? Because there was a lot of speculation going around that SpongeBob was intended to be uh, gay, and so with Patrick. Um, but Steven Spielberg in 2005 uh, reassured us uh, uh, what he had cr what was the point of creating SpongeBob and what his sexuality was. So it says here in this article, interestingly, interestingly enough, back in 2005, Hillenburg spoke about SpongeBob, saying that he didn't intend for Patrick and SpongeBob to be gay. He goes on to say, I consider them to be almost asexual or asexual. We're just, we're just trying to be funny, and this has got nothing to do with the show. So there's your answer right there, folks. So this is coming again from Steven Hillenburg, the creator of SpongeBob. And uh, back in 2005, he made it very clear that sexuality in the SpongeBob cartoon was non-existent. You know, this is a kid's cartoon. Kids aren't going to be concentrating on that kind of stuff, and more so, this cartoon is meant to be funny. We're not meant to be focused on their sexuality, whether he's straight or gay. Uh, but if you wanted to know whether he was gay, Steven Hillenburg made it very clear that his intentions were complete opposite. He had no intentions of making any of the characters in this show gay. He considers them asexual, and if the, for those of you who don't know what uh, asexual or sexual means, um, it's basically the lack of sexual attraction to others, or low or an absent uh, interest in uh, that kind of matter or activity. 
So, Steven Hellenberg made it very clear that Spongebob's not gay, and uh, therefore we don't need a debate over that topic anymore. But, as you folks know, Steven Hillenberg has died, and so therefore that's left Nickelodeon with like the utmost power and ability to portray Spongebob Squarepants and really all the cartoons in Spongebob's and the Spongebob Squarepants show really however they want and however they please. And uh, like I said folks, this happened uh, back in uh, June of last year, 2020, and uh, there's this post that Nickelodeon posted on Twitter, uh, so it's a tweet. And uh, what you'll see is all of the characters uh, that they like to that what they would like to show that I guess are uh, homosexuals. They're, they're like gays or uh, lesbians. And uh, as you folks can see, right on the very left, uh, SpongeBob SquarePants, and you know he's got he's all colorful, rainbow. Even his tie is a uh, rainbow color. <laughs> so it's quite evident that after Steven Hillenburg died. Uh, Nickelodeon really took full advantage of this opportunity with him being dead and they really wanted to push the thought and idea that Spongebob is apparently uh, now gay in their opinion. But the way I see it folks is, you know, even though Steven uh, Hillenburg may be dead, I think we can take a look at this and you know, we can, we can come to terms that, you know, Spongebob is not gay. Again, really, I guess it matters on your perspective, you know, if you want to think Spongebob is gay just because Nickelodeon wants you to think he is, uh, by all means, go ahead. But truthfully, and in all reality, Spongebob is not gay, and as far as I'm concerned, I haven't seen any uh, gay things or lesbian things done in Spongebob. And if you think there are, it's really just meant to be funny. And I find so much humor in Spongebob, and uh, when he's with Patrick especially. And just in general, Spongebob Squarepants is a great cartoon that I think uh, any kid should be able to watch. Um, we gotta remember, there's very far and few cartoons out there that are actually decent uh, for kids. And Spongebob Squarepants, even until this day, in my opinion, is one of the few uh, good cartoons out there. But if you want my opinion, folks, watch the original episodes like this, or like the first 100 episodes, because the newer ones aren't as good as the older ones. That's usually how it goes. But yes, folks... To put it uh, simply, Spongebob, he's not gay, but Nickelodeon like would like to say and portray that he is gay, but you don't have to listen to them or follow what they say. And you should always remember, the creator of Spongebob, Steven Hillenburg, he made it very clear that Spongebob's not gay, and we should not see him as such, because the whole point of the show, you know, it's really, it's not all about that. The point of Spongebob Squarepants is just to make kids and even their parents laugh and have a good time. It's really a funny and awesome show to watch in my opinion. I still watch it once in a while and uh, there's nothing wrong with Spongebob uh, Squarepants and yeah I would encourage kids if they want to watch it go ahead but if you just want my opinion watch the older ones because they're way better and uh, watch the first two Spongebob movies uh, because they are pretty darn hilarious. But I think that about wraps it up folks so Spongebob is he gay? It's however you want to portray him. Honestly, folks, it's your opinion. If you want, really want the truth and uh, really the moral, logical sense of when he was created, no, he's not gay. But Nickelodeon would like to portray that he is. So, I guess you can believe whatever you want, but honestly, I don't know why you would want to believe he's gay, because he's not. He's just a, like I said, a squishy, lovable sponge who lives in a pineapple under the sea. <laughs> so, that's all I'd like to share with you folks today. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment, subscribe, join the ice today, and uh, I'll see you folks in the next video, whatever I make. God bless you all. Have a great day.